And hello everybody, my name is Mike from Bad Gaming, and welcome back to Yuppie Psycho. You're joining me back at the boss fight. Um, I've been reliably informed that the boss isn't actually the witch, it's actually a child of the witch. So what I'm going to do is try and get through this boss fight as quickly as possible, because we have already beat it, we just died at the bloody lift, so... I just need to somehow, uh... Go to the elevator, and I think I have a valid tactic after what- Here you go, so, basically, as you can see, the child of the witch will follow you. I need to lure it to one end. Wait till the white stuff starts appearing. And that the things in the cocoons can't actually hurt me. Come on. There we go. So it should now be following me. It's literally only the giant witch thing that can hurt me. Okay, so the tactic is we stand here at the lift, and we wait for the white stuff to start appearing on the screen. It's like a weird scratchy kind of stuff. When that happens, you run to the other end of the hall, wait for it to come down, and then just come back and stand here. Do the repeat to repeat. It should not be able to hurt me. There we go. White stuff on the screen. Lure it over to this side, and then you run to the other side of the screen. It takes a while, but it's the best way of doing it without getting hurt. And I'm going to try and save all my health items if I can. Also, equip a glow stick while I'm standing here waiting, because otherwise I'm wasting my batteries. Which you guys will kill me for. Okay, there we go. White stuff on the screen, and then we... There she is. She's literally there. Ow. Okay. She was a lot lower than I thought she'd be. That's fine. We can deal. Now I need to switch back to the flashlight. See, as you can see, we're already kind of like nearly halfway there. See, I was worried about the little things in the cocoons. They can't hurt me. Okay, she's really hard to get by. Every time I try and run past her, she hurts me, so I'm just going to have to take THE hit rather than several hits like I did last time. I should be able to finish it up. She's all the way down the bottom. Only took like three hits, and that's every time I had to run past her, basically. So, last one, and I know what I have to do now. Come on! There we go, so she's just there. I'll get through the lift. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm going to start swinging now. Start swinging now. Well, I can't. Well, come on! I know what I have to do this time. The green smelly stuff starts coming up from the lift, but this time I've got a lot more health, so it should be okay. I also need to know. It. There we go. We've got it earlier. There we go. There we go. Much easier this time. Much easier this time. Screwdriver straight away. Through the hatch. There we go. See, I didn't get this far last time. I did not get this far last time. Okay. I didn't get into here. I died before I got into here, which sucked, but now we've made progress. Follow me, Mr. Pasternak. Your evaluation is about to begin. What? Hurry up, please. She's on our tail. Okay. Wait, wait you're going too fast. So, who is this person? We still haven't learned who the hell this is. Oh, shit. Th thank you, corpse, for the 30 credits. Am I against the clock here? Guessing not, because there doesn't seem to be anything... Oh, shit. Wrong way. Although I might be. I'm not really willing to find out. Oh. There's cocoon things in here. Again, the cocoon things can't do anything to me. They are harmless. As far as I'm aware. Oh god. Oh god. She's in here. She's in here with me. Okay, I, I, I found it out. I found my way out. I found my way out. At least I think this is my way out. It is! Hi guys! It's, it's, it's there! The witch! It's, it's... Take it easy, Mr. Pasternak. You're safe here. The office doesn't belong to the company. We're actually in another building. Excuse my manners. I haven't introduced myself properly. My name's Marshall. It's a pleasure to meet you personally. But my name's Past. We know your name, Mr. Pasternak. We've been watching you since you arrived this morning. You probably won't remember, but I personally gave you your first witch paper in the elevator after you signed your contract. But who are you people? What is this place? May I present my companions? We're all part of the USSR. USSR! Obviously not Russia. United Syndicate Revolutionaries. Are you a union? 
That's right, we are. We are the Works Council. We are here to defend your rights against the oligarch oppression of the, this unfeeling mega corporation. Uh, thank you. We know perfectly well the hell what you have faced and that many others like you have to deal with on a daily basis, Mr. Pasternak. This is why we want you to share your heavy burden with us, and through these meetings we can gather the necessary strength for the task at hand. About time someone gave me a hand. After this presentation, if you feel it appropriate, we will proceed with the performance evaluation of your first day at the company. Ah, uh, okay, if you don't mind, I'll stay down here. My stomach's a little upset. Tell me, Mr. Pasternak, from one to five, how would you describe the accessibility of the company's occupational health and safety measures? Uh, that's definitely a one. That's just shit. Let's just be fair, it's shit. Uh-huh. From one to five, what do you think of the condition of the appliances in the company's canteen? Are they actually okay? They're fine. I've used them several times. I'm not sure what they're like now. The witch has probably possessed them. Yeah, nothing's worse than the possessed toaster. The next question is key. What level of cleanliness and hygiene have you found in the toilets and or bathrooms of your office building? What's this all about? How are you going to help me at all? God damn it. I sincerely apologize, Mr. Pasternak. We're all well aware this form is in urgent need of renewal. Who cares about the form? The whole company's a mess and people are dying down there. Is there nothing you could do to end the witch? We hope to be able to be of much more help from tomorrow with the incorporation of the new general manager. General manager? You mean boss? Indeed, without bosses, we could not oppose or negotiate with anyone. If all goes according to plan, Citricorp will have a CEO again by midnight tonight. So, who's it going to be? Your partner, Mr. Hugo. Hugo? But how is it possible? Who decides these things? It's an automatic system described in the company's statutes. According to these statutes, the CEO will be replaced in the event of unjustified absence. After 12 months, his success will be the next employee with the most seniority. The system will be jumping from mistaked work to missing worker for over a decade. And today it's reached the next in line, which is none other than Mr. Hugo. Oh my goodness, this must be avoided at all costs. Can you guys do anything? I'm sorry. Are you telling me there is no one with more seniority than Hugo? What the blonde guy from the ninth floor? Doesn't he have a higher rank in the company? The few that are still alive were at Hugo's birthday party, and Mr. Spader is not on the staff. He's a subcontracted worker. Please, there has to be someone else. To tell you the truth, there is an exception to the rule, but today it is unfeasible. These statuettes were created in the early years of the company, and the text marks a special inheritance right of the Citra family. That is, if a member of the above-mentioned family were to appear, they could claim the post immediately. That's impossible because they're all dead. Ray Sintra? Who? I, I gotta get out of here. I have to get back to my office. But Mr. Pasternak, the working day is over. I have to go... I have to go back. Too much punch. Way too much punch. One too many hits from the snake. Well, shit, what is going on? So, everyone's dead? My head hurts so much. I I'm in my office, aren't I? Guess it was all a bad dream. I'll work for a while and... A parsnip. This is another one of Hugo's pranks. He even left me the plastic knife. Oh. Hello! Brian. No, 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 no. What's the matter, Brian? Sintra, help me, please. Why don't you use the dagger? Um... What? What the crap? My head. Am I in my office again? 
The USSR team thanks you for your evaluation. Welcome to Centricor. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is going on in this place? Oh, shit. Centra, no! Centra's broken. What am I going to do without her? Let me guess. In the event of my death, here is a message. We inform our employee of the recent appointment of Mr. Hugo as CEO of Centricorp. Great. Okay. This place is horrible. There's nothing interesting here. I mean, I've got my glow sticks out again. Why is the banging noise? Oh, God. This place is an absolute mess now. Sosa? It's empty. Oh, what state is this place going to be in? Oh, a slice of bread. Nothing in here. Okay. We've got to go up to the top floor. We've got to confront Hugo, right? Oh, this place has gone to shit now. Oh, no. It's locked. Oh, I hear stuff about... I hear stuff about... Could we have a cardboard box down here? No, okay. What the heck is that noise? It's empty. Can we still buy pencils and shit from here? I'm borrowing this. And Okay, so we can't buy anything anymore. Oh, God. Oh, holy fucking hell, what is that? There is a fucking filing cabinet monster. So is just everybody dead? It won't open. Oh. Oh, this is different. This is very different. Okay, can I not get to the lift? Oh, shitting hell. Ow. Okay, that thing really hurts. Okay, I'm very low on health. I do need to buy some candy bars from here. Yes, please. I'll take two. Okay, let's just go through here. I need to get out of the way of this thing. Okay, I'm guessing from the stairwell, we can't use the lift anymore. And that this building is essentially just infested with creatures now. I mean, there's something. I don't know what it is. A soda. Okay, that's really useful. I mean, whatever that noise is, it's very close. Spider or something. Ah. Oh, it's a walking spine of mine. Ah. Okay, well, it went past me, so. That's empty. Witch paper. Okay, let's try these doors. Nine is open. Devil's blood. So hang on a minute. The elevator doesn't work. No, it's oh, I guess it's, I guess the witch broke it, didn't she? Right. Okay. So thinking about it, we saw. Oh, Hugo. I hear you. You are bastard. Guess we gotta go face him now. Hello, Hugo. Pastronek! Hello, Hugo. Have you come to know the great secret of Centricor? The true identity of Super Toad? 
We know who you are. It's me, Hugo! We know. You're in shock. You didn't expect that. I want to talk to you. Of course! You can tell me your concerns and suggestions. A CEO is here to help his employees. Well, would you get off the table? Oh, what a fool. Want to know? Wait. You're not still drunk, are you? You say very hurtful things when you are. No, I'm not, I'm not. I want to know why you've been harassing me. You've been standing in my way this whole time, every step I took. What have I done to you? Look, Brian, I'll be honest with you. I knew you were a hunter, and that could jeopardize my promotion. I tried to go easy way. I told you not to take your job too seriously, that you should just wander around like everybody else, but you turned out to be very stubborn. You kept making progress. That's why I tried to get you out of the way. I get it. What's your relationship with the witch? Oh, man. Are you a private detective? Relax, little man. Without the witch, I couldn't have made it this far. I'll put prey on the plate for her, send people her way, as long as it's in my best interest, of course. But as dangerous as she is, how come she hasn't killed you yet? Well, you always keep a couple of tricks in your pocket. Does the name Corvo mean anything to you? He told me everything I need to know to keep the witch in check. I saw Corvo's body in the poison pool. You killed him. <laughs> Haven't you seen a fat ass I have? I can never kill anyone, Brian. It's the witch who does it. Don't you give me that face. I've been working all this lot of years, okay? You are. I've only been a day, and everything you've done... I can't imagine all the people you've trampled on all these years. Don't you think about anyone else but yourself? What about the people who came to celebrate your birthday today? I don't care, of course. Get the fuck out of here! I'm no more selfish than you are. All day long, I you do good things to your own good. That's not true. You came here with your tail between your legs, making me feel sorry for you. A class G poor thing. But entering directly into the fifth floor of the world's largest company. It's not my fault that I belong to a lower class. Besides, this company takes advantage of poor people like me and uses them as bait for the witch. All of us? They're running this company's bait. Not just you. Brian, past your neck. Mm -mm. Oh, Hugo, you're a dick, man. You're lucky you have a last name. You know what mine is? I thought it was Hugo. Hugo is not my last name. In fact, it's not even my name. When you're born a class R, they put a number on you. Having a last name would mean you having a family. I haven't met your parents. That's a privilege. You a class R? Why do you care? I didn't know that. Because I don't go around proclaiming it. But hey! One day, I want you to have a cup of coffee. I can tell you all about the shitty life I had till I got here. Get this straight, Pastor Neck. No one could trample on others more rightfully than I can. No one in this company deserves this position more than I do. Nobody, Brian. Well, is there anything else? Ah, uh, no. Perfect. Well, you're fired. What? Despite our differences, I agree with you, Brian. Citra Corp shouldn't hire random people to take on the witch, and I'm committed to ending it. The least I can do for you is give you a letter of dismissal and let you go home. Isn't that what you want? To escape this nightmare? Yes, of course. Take this. Just go down the lobby and get out the door. Same way you came in this morning. Yeah, that ain't happening, man. I'm ending you, you fucker. It's not happening, Brian. It's not happening, Brian. You're staying. The elevator doesn't work. Of course it doesn't bloody work. Right. Let's go up to the roof. There's something up here, right? It's locked. I don't tell me we actually have to try and leave. And what happened to everybody as well? 
bricked up the, the sixth floor door. Can we go down some more? Oh, we can. Okay, there's some, uh, there's a foe. Okay, so I need to put a new ink cartridge in this one. I actually have an ink cartridge, which is good because I do need to save. I haven't saved in a while. What the fuck? That's not my face. That's not my face. And we're going to explore all the floors. I'm going to make sure I don't leave until I've found out what the hell is going on here. What's third floor? Over a thousand cameras are watching out of your safety smile. It won't open. What? What? That's very Sintra! Come, come fucking back here! I knew we shouldn't leave. Unless that's the witch that's... Ah, the Doshi's keys! Of course! So maybe... What is this place? Maybe we can't actually leave. Maybe that is an option, an ending maybe. Two batteries and a packet of coffee powder. There's another Sintra there. It looks like the Sintra robot, but the, her head is missing. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, let's read these. According to the reports I found, Sintra Corp renewed its corporate image in 1973, creating a state-of-the-art android in the likeness of the daughter of the Sintra family. Nine functional models of the Sintra were running across the company, guiding new employees. Would this be the mysterious Concopia project? After gathering information from various sources, it can be assumed that the unexpected destruction of all Sintra models led the company to close the project def definitively. The AI they had developed became part of the corporate intranet, Sintranet. Who destroyed all the models and why? Is this related to the fact that the Sintranet is corrupt? After years of searching the company for Android parts, all I have left to do is to find the last one, an intact head. Just the heart of the Android without it, I can't make this jewel of the technology work. Huh. What is this? If I want to bring back Sintra, I have to find her head. Huh. So where is her head? There were several red pieces. Could it be pieces of a robot? I'm going to assume so. <laughs> VHS tape. Pretty sure there's nothing we can actually do with the VHS tapes now. Okay, so we need to go find Citrus Head. Where would we go for that? Oh, a slice of cheese. Yeah, I wonder if the um, forest goblin survived the uh, witch's purge. I haven't seen another living soul since I got... <laughs> since I got actually out of the lift, really. Obviously, apart from the USSR. But yes, yeah, there's no way in hell we're leaving, right? There's no way. Oh, shit. Ow. Okay. Didn't realise the mine was actually that bloody close. There is a basement. Let's go to the basement. I knew there was a basement. Oh, the lobby's number one. Okay, so I need to... Let's go to the uh, canteen. Oh, shit. Uh, hello? Oh, jeez. Oh, that's the balloons popping. Let's make a cheese sandwich while we're here. Just never mind the dead bodies. Make a cheese sandwich. And some coffee. Just cheese sandwich and some coffee. Nom nom. Mmm. <laughs> Certainly mixes with the smell of the dead. Love it. Oh, fuck me. Okay. There's that mask. Who could this be? Why is he wearing a devil mask? He has a note in his pocket. The entrance disguises in the yuppie devil. Maybe this costume could be useful to me. Shall I take his clothes off? Yeah, I guess he won't be needing it anymore. You got the yuppie devil suit. Who's there? Who is there? Mappy! 
How did she survive this? What are you doing here? Recording my new film, Mr. Devil. Hey, I'm looking for the others. Do you know where they are? Sosa, Rostov, K. I I can't find anyone. You tell me. I wasn't here. We were attacked by the witch and it was chaos. But I, I don't see them among the bodies. Maybe they got away, right? She ate them up. But one was left alive. Who? Croak, croak. Oh. Of course. Okay, so we've got the yuppie devil suit, right? So the yuppie devil... I'm pretty sure, right? The entrance disguise is the yuppie devil. There's a devil exhibit upstairs. Oh. Hello, spider mine. Oh, fuck, sick. Ow! God damn it, I got stuck! Yeah, here it is. This is the... Exhibition of the Devil, right? So if I use the disguise... Here... I better go to a corner. Yeah, I was right! Okay, so we're dressing up as the Devil, right? I'll leave my clothes and briefcase here. I hope nobody steals them. Hello? Can I come in? I'm... The Devil. Oh shit, we're in! I wondered what was on this floor. Hello? Oh! Butt face receptionist! I'm here for the costume party. Suguru Tanaka, the blood of the devil! Lovely! Exhibition, the blood of the devil. Seguro Tanaka. Do you dare to look directly at the cursed picture of the lady in red? Thank you. Thank you, butthole receptionists. I can't access my inventory. Oh, can we go? We can go past them. Oh, shit, okay. Tenth construction of the healing church. What is this shit? The man on the right is lying. The man on the right is lying. Okay. The Sindra head! Sindra! How can I get you out of here? Daddy? No. What's that? I'm Brian, I had to put this costume on to get in here. Daddy? Oh no, I'm not daddy. I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't see how I can get her out of this glass case either. Can we like chuck a brick at it? Oh, what the fuck is this? The new adorers. Well, that's disgusting. Method. Right, okay. Tebalistic Castle. Oliver. <laughs> Hello, Oliver. How's it going? It's another black square. Maybe it can be useful to me. Oh, we took it. Okay. Let's not drink the red cocktail. I'm pretty sure the red cocktail is blood. Aha! That did something. I think. I mean, there's a, a bunch of like pretentious paintings and stuff, but... I don't know what else I'm after. Okay, I've gone as far as I can go up this way. So I've been everywhere on the right. Let's go to everything on the left then. See if there's anything I'm missing. Oh, hello. Hope that thing isn't alive. Yeah, you and me both, mate. It's not in that one. It's not in that one. Where did the thing in the painting go? Do I actually have to just keep looking at the picture? 
Because this is the lady in red, right? Because she, she attacked me. Let's just stare at her. Hello! Is this what I've got to do? Let's just keep looking at her. Hello! A pokey nose. No, that's not what I've got to do. Fuck. Okay, the only thing I can think to do is to drink the red liquid. It's kind of a dumb idea, but I'm going to do it. It's so strange, but I think I've got my strength back. Oh! Oh. Oh. So maybe using that... There she is. Okay. Okay, so I've got to use one of the pictures next to her to get her to move, maybe? Yeah, every time you do that, she moves. Okay, so she's not for that one now. There's only a few she can actually go to. She's not there yet, so she must be on the other side. There she is. Nope, not there. Oh. Oh. It's you! Amazing. Every time I see it, I get goosebumps. It should be a sin to admire such beauty. You can start. Uh... I really like what you did your last week. Did you bring the hooks and more of that delicious blood? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just teasing you. Who are you anyway? My name's Pasternak. You're that party boy. How are you doing? Did you enjoy the exhibition? More or less. What did you like best about it? Sintra. Hmm, Sintra. You mean the android, don't you? Hang on a second. Yeah, that thing. Can I have it? It's a unique piece. Not just because it's the only one left intact, but because according to its serial number, it's the first one ever made. The one that served as a model for all other androids. This one was never shown to the public, was found a few years ago, hiding in the office of the company's founder. Well, that's a surprise. It's never said anything before. I have a feeling it likes you, Pasternak. What do you say we make a deal? I'll give you the android if you answer one question. What kind of question? It's a little personal, but it's a very simple question. All right. I'd like to know why you're doing this. What do you mean? Please don't think this is some kind of trick question. I'm just curious. It fascinates me to see people with their determination in their eyes. Ready to do anything to achieve their goal. So what do you say? Why are you doing this? Well, because I want to make things right. Hmm. Because I want to finish the witch. All right, all right. I understand. But what you're telling me is your goal, your purpose. I'm asking you why you want to do it. Why are you trying so hard? Why do you hide or don't you hide or give up? I don't know if I'm making myself clear. What is it that motivates you, that makes you do all this? Um, I'm going to pick safe friends. Friendship is a very powerful motivation. In these times, we sometimes forget that word, or empty of its meaning. Don't answer me if you don't want to, but have you been friends with these people for long? The truth is, I've only known them a few hours. Ah, well, maybe it's more about you than it is about them, isn't it? Like a feeling you've extrapolated. You want those people to be your friends. That's why you want to save them. 
And so, if you think about it, it's quite a selfish motivation. Oh God, excuse me, I'm a pain in the ass about these things. I didn't mean to judge you. I want to thank you for this time, Pasternak. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Please take the android with you. Right. I have nothing more else to do here. Let me at least walk you out. Sometimes this place can be a little disorientating. Right. I, st I don't trust this guy. In oh, fucking lovely. It got out. Well, I didn't bother these ladies with the artists for faces. Well, I guess I won't be needing this costume anymore. I guess not. Nice to have all my stuff again. Sintra, let's go. Yeah, come on, Sintra. Follow me. With my dodgy escort. Uh-oh. Security emergency two. Theft of goods from Sintra Corp. Well. Well, bollocks. Where's the spider mine? Close. There it is. That's it. Fuck off. I need to get to floor three and very quickly. Whoa! Whoa! What are those? What the hell are they? Okay, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run now. I'm gonna run very fast in this direction. Whoa. <laughs> My god. Oh, there's, there's more of them. Uh, okay. Okay, it missed me. I was in the yellow. I didn't know if there's any place to hide. There is a place to hide here. They're like computer head people. I'm not sure I'm a fan of these. Oh, fuck. It's come back this way. Come on. Come this way. I'm gonna run for it. Run for it. Like it! <laughs> okay, I think I made it. I think I made it. There was only two of them, so... Oh, God, blimey. Right, Sintra, let's plug you in! That's it. Rejig yourself with your body. Okay. Hopefully this is a good thing. Well, witchy poo. I'm not hiding anywhere. I see you. Wake up. What? H Hello, Sintra. I'm I'm Brian. Do you remember me, Brian? Brian Pasternak. Defragmentation error. Corrupted data. Uh, uh, is, is something wrong with you? Go away. Go away and leave me alone. I'm not leaving. What is going on? Oh, he gave her a hug. Oh, pfft. all right. Hey, let go of me now. We are not dating or anything. I'm sorry. It's just a relief to see you again, Sintra. Wait, do you know who I am? My name's Pasternak. Of course I know who you are, stupid. And stop calling me Sintra. That's what they called my father. My name is Ray. Ah, okay. I'm still a little confused. 
Yet it's confusing for me also. I think someone copied my memory and stored it in this robot. So, I mean, you're the girl in the picture now. The door of the family. Not only that, I have access to the Sintra records. That's why I recognized you. Okay. Well, it feels good to be out again. I am free at last. What's with the long face? I've seen the witch. She's taken all my friends. Hey, wait, not all of them. Stop whining and let's go. Let's go. Where to? To settle this whole thing once and for all, let's go talk to Damori. You mean the witch? Stop calling her that. She's not a witch, just like you are not a hunter. But do you know where she is? Of course, she's my sister. She'll be in her room as usual. Uh, no, I'm not ready to go see her. No, I'm not ready yet. I've got to save my game first. And then we're going to go meet the witch in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe for new daily videos. And I'll see you again soon.